What's up everyone? My name's Gary. So this is Alley Mill Spring and it is a red beauty. You can actually walk around and we're going to do that. So this mill was built around 1894 and it was originally white with green trimming and uh, it only later on took on the red color that is so prominent today. Now you can actually take tours of this area. Right now I'm here around 6 36 uh, p.m. And I don't know if the season's actually begun uh, for it to open up and give tours, but I have been in it before and it's really impressive and worth checking out. And it is just an impressive sight. And it has that smell of, you know, an old structure of old wood. This is to close up the water that would have went to the wheel. So this was a spillway. So when this was closed off, everything would rush over that way. With an average of 81 million gallons a day, this makes Alley Spring Missouri's seventh largest spring. Yeah, this area is super wet. So we've got these stained bluffs here. And this part's dry. Of course, that's wet, wet, wet. And it's just giving it a really cool pattern. It's kind of like tarnish you would see out in the desert, clearly see where this bubbles up here. That's where that funnel, basically right here, because this is pretty stagnant water. Right there. It's not moving around a whole lot. But this here is just coming up, bubbling up, and then it's forcing it out that way. So if you're a photographer, this is one of the money shots here. Yep, look at that. That is just beautiful. Have those two trees with that red mill in the background. You can't beat that view. And what's interesting is I'm the only one here. It's about 6.50 uh, p.m. and it's on a Monday. And I've got this place all to myself. I've been out here before late in the afternoon. This seems to be a common occurrence. But yeah, just look at these beautiful views that you can come out here and see. I mean, that is a picture. That is a picture in itself. Oh, maybe you wanna get the reflection of the mill completely. Yeah, that looks like a better picture. Yeah, how could you not love this place? I mean, it's got water, it's got a mill, uh, beautiful trail. Another outlet of uh, the spring. We had the chute outlet over here and a little side one. This has as much flow, it looks like, as the other part. And then it goes off in this uh, direction here. And right over there is the chute area that comes through. So as you can see, that part we saw over there, it was not all the water that was coming out of here. This just shows you the force of those boiling uh, spots there and how much water is coming up at one time. This is cool. So we've got an arch here that goes all the way through. And it's made of this uh, dolomite. Now this is very similar, if not the same dolomite that we saw over at uh, the Hunter Cave Spring. Looky, looky what we've got here. We've got a hole that says to stay on the trail, but this is just right on the trail, right off the trail. And we'll go check it out. We're going to get up in here a little ways. Yeah, this just shows you how much this uh, dolomite dissolves. Oh, look at that. That's a little cave salamander. See it there? Yep, we don't want to disturb you, buddy. We're just taking a look. Cool. Very cavish. Very cavish. Little columbine there. Okay, we've got another hole here. Now, I did not know these were back here. I'd always uh, just continued across the bridge there and uh, didn't ever really go this way. Oh, wow. This 
is very cool. Yeah. So I can pretty much stand up in here if I wanted to. A really good view of the river out there. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. Uh, goes around there and you can see through there and then we come to another set of uh, stairs here so we're gonna head back before the Sun goes down got some really good light so this is the chute where it comes out and just look how much water is coming out of here and we still got this uh, dam here and there's that other chute over there. So those three are just pushing vast amount of water and uh, very turbulent right in here. So even though I've been here numerous times, it's great to come back to places like this because, because it's so beautiful. You can see them in different seasons, different settings where the sun is you know, setting on it and you're getting that right light on the flowers or the bluff. Just the air smells fresh. Beautiful place to come and visit. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.